Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Last episode, we started the interior to our cathedral here, and I really like what we've done so far. We've decided to start in this sort of middle chamber area, and it looks really cool. But last episode, we had night vision potion on so we could see and, and make it easy to build, but we sort of forgot about lighting when we don't have a night vision potion on and for example i think up here on the ceiling it looks a little bit dull a little bit dark so i think we can get around this quite easily by doing like a mini chandelier just something like this and then a torch on either side now the fence posts aren't going to join up to anything so it looks like it's hanging there quite nicely but see how that just lights up that bit? It doesn't light up a huge amount. We don't have to do it on every single one. I'm thinking if we do it on every other one. So we do it on this one. Here. And we click them. And when we do it on this one here. And then put the torches on there. It should just light up the ceiling just enough. Let's go back to our sort of viewing spot. I think it just makes it look a little bit more... Well, there's, there's more to look at there, but it just brightens it up just that little smidge. I also forgot about buttons. I love buttons. It's, it's like one of my favourite mini blocks in the game, I think. You just put little wooden buttons on, on parts, and then it just lifts everything out a little bit. It's so subtle, but putting them on wood makes it look like little dowel points. Oh, wrong one. There. So I'm putting these in the middle of the arches. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to put these on either side of these sort of join bits. It's making me feel dizzy. I'm going to start spinning the other way. I get dizzy like super easy. Like embarrassingly easy. I can like get off the sofa too quick and end up being dizzy. <laughs> I can't do roller coasters or, or anything that sort of them little kiddie things at parks that like spin around. Nope, can't do them. So, uh, <laughs> even in a game, I get dizzy from in the game. Yeah, see those buttons? They just sort of pop out a little bit. They don't really add too much, but I, I think they add enough to, to not forget about. So, now that we've got this part, I think we're going to concentrate on this part today. Now, we might end up adding little bits in there as we come up with more ideas, but it's a strong start that we can sort of get away with keeping like this if we don't ever add any more to it. So, this one here. I think the first step will be just to stick walls up. Now, I don't think necessarily do we need to set 98 that we need to do anything in this room, that room or that room if we don't want to. If we think that the entire of the inside of the cathedral is good enough, I'll just leave it how it is. Uh, but we do have the space if we want to. We can do like a dining room hall thing. Um, I don't know where else you have the cathedral, an art gallery, probably. I mean, for visitors and stuff. Uh, and a kitchen area like those three could be the things that we, we do if we want to let's get the night vision potion for the rest of the episode here beautiful look at this so our ceiling we definitely want to start at this height to match into the uh hallway adjacent and i think we're gonna do i would really like to do a little bit of a square that turns into a circle it's just a nice little shape maybe it goes up a little bit like 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 embosses back a little bit i don't know so if we do something, if I add those there and I add those there, we've got the square up there at the minute, yeah? But then I think I want on this layer, if we add a square here first, but then we round this level off instead, you'll see what I mean in a minute. I think this room, it feels actually pretty square. Um, almost perfectly square. I might have designed it way back when to, yeah, I would have, yeah, because that's a square up there. Is it? Three, 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 three. Yeah, that is a, it's a square room here. So now we've got a square here. We can have round this off a little bit. So I'm going to just do something like this to begin with. And if it's not quite circle enough, we can then just touch up little parts. Well, to be fair, that's a pretty good circle, right? I think that's pretty nice. So we've got this square into circle feeling and then on the next layer up we're going to change the block up probably to um a dark oak or, or something a little bit more 
uh, eye catching, but I don't want it light coloured. I don't, I don't want quartz or nothing up there. I think it'll be a little bit too bright. Um, so we're going to change up to, yeah, let's let's go spruce. Spruce is a more of a subtle change. Yeah, let's go with spruce. So we're just going to basically fill this layer up here with spruce. Like this. There's no real quick way to do this. It's not actually that big of a circle, to be honest. So this isn't really a room. This is just sort of the end of the hallway. And this is going to be where we're going to do the uh, the typical uh, big stand where the priest or whoever um, is inside of this cathedral is doing his speech. And that's what we're going to have, have this for. Let me get inside before I place that last block. Okay, nice and neat. Nothing too crazy going on there. We definitely need some logs doing something here. I don't know if I want logs running along or along uh, uh, above or, or lower down. Like, we could have them running on this level. We could have them... If I done it here... Because I don't want nothing crazy going on up here. I don't want, like, a big face or, or anything silly like that. But if we put some logs below it, it could just sort of liven everything up a little bit. We could even do them here. Oh, night vision. I've got rid of it off my hotbar. Splash. Ooh. Ooh, I sort of like that. Do I like that? I sort of like that. Can I get rid of that one? Yes, but I can't get rid of that one. No. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. I can get rid of that one now. I sort of... Ooh, huh? <laughs> the switch blocks. I sort of liked the little drop-down one. Yeah, why not? We'll do that then. Little drop-down on there. And I might even put it up there so it looks like it's holding that part of the ceiling up. Like that. Nice. Nice. Okay, that frames that really quite well. Um, on the back here, I think we need some kind of opening to that big, nice window behind. Um, maybe we do like a, a squished arch. So, from looking back here, it looks like this block here can be sort of the first one to go. Like that. And then I'm going to make a squished arch. Like that. And now if I stand back here, I should hopefully be able to... Yeah, I can see that nice window behind and through there. Gets rid of a giant wall, plain wall as well. Obviously, we're going to dress it up anyway. But sort of gets rid of that. Let's get these going up here. I'm going to do it in the same sort of broken design as they are there. I think that's nice. Yes, nothing's touching or anything like that. Uh, for the glass in the middle... You know, it would be nice to have something a little bit multicolored in here. You know, the best way to do that, I think, is going to be to put them all down as the same color. And then use a nice fancy command to randomize a selection of colors that we're going to want to use. So, put those in there. These up here. And then... That goes there. And we want pain. What numbers do we want? Red will be nice. So we'll have 14. 4. 3. 2. 2, 3, 4, 14. That should do. 2, 3, 4, and 14. Replace 160 with 162. 163. 164 and 160 14. Oops. Hey. Oh, I've made a typo somewhere. There we go. Boop. Hmm. That's a little bit too um too playful of colours. Maybe we need to darken up the colours a little bit. Choose some sort of 
maybe boringer ones. Let's do 12, 13, 7, 12, 13, 7, and 1. 12, 13, 7, and 1. 12, 13, 7, and 1. Oh, splash again. That looks a little bit more military, doesn't it? That's a little bit... Uh, no, I think we're going to stick with white then. I can't find... I don't think I'm going to be able to find a colour combination that I'm going to really like. So stick with the white. We can still see the nice window behind it. It's shining through there, letting a little bit of light in. That should be good. Now, uh, the stand. I'm going to do the stand. I don't want it too far away from these here. I don't want the podium to be too far away. Uh, we're going to go with a spruce for the stand itself. I think that's a good distance away, right? We're going to have a little bit of height on it. We're going to do oak for the part that he can stand on. Like this. That feels about right, doesn't it? Yeah, we can address everyone here. You can... Uh, be, people at the back will be able to hear you. And something like this. And then I want to have a taller one. I'll just do it like this for the moment. We'll, we'll work out how you're going to get into them in a minute. I want to have a, a, a taller one on either side. Like this. I'm, I, now, I'm not a, uh, a big church goer, but I do remember what my church used to be when I was in primary school. We used to, go, we used to have to go to church um, for like little fates and stuff. And it, was, it, it wasn't a cathedral or nothing. It was a very small church, um, but it had these parts on the side. So the, the main guy would uh, stand in the middle, but then you had these other ones up here. Now, no one ever went up here. But I think they were for maybe um, uh, choirs or something like that. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know. So we want stairs. Just to drop down here. It's not too high. And stairs. We want the spruce ones. Yeah, I think I like it like that. And then like this now you could if you wanted to take these ones away and do it like that i think i do actually prefer it it just looks cleaner it looks smoother yeah i was gonna leave it like that but it doesn't matter or you can flick the mover oh yeah we'll flick the mover we'll do them upside down it's the best of both worlds then okay and then this one we're gonna want i think that like that And there's a nice little one on there. Nice and simple. Might even put those there. No, I'll leave them like that. So we can see here. Uh, I think I want like a little, a little plant there and there. But how am I going to do that in a way that isn't going to block up anything? Or we could do it straight into that. So we could have. No, I stuck. Would that be? No, it wouldn't be right. Um. No, it wouldn't be right. Do I have a ledger? That's a sledgehammer. There were a book. Yeah, this one. Plop. In the middle there. That's that's brilliant. That's right in the way of the people sitting there. But he could always move to the side. I did want a little plant or something. Maybe I can do them. Uh, you know what? Maybe up there will be better. I want something big. I want I want like a couple of really chunkier plants going on. We need to change up the colour though. Um, what other colours have we got going on in here? Uh, we've got these ones. Let's just grab some blocks that we haven't used yet. Oh yeah, we've got these ones. Um, that's really about it. We've sort of kept it to a nice sort of minimum. Maybe we just do a double, a double one going on. Uh, I put those in there and there and then leaves. Obviously, I don't want them going up higher than the, the bit there. That's cool. It looks a little bit plain, though. How can we dress that up? Um, trap doors? If we put trap doors down on the bottom of them all, this could actually work quite well.
weird little visual glitch you get on these sometimes. Like that. These on the back. Down this side. I know it wouldn't matter, but it's going to annoy everybody if I didn't flick that one over. And down here. And then along the front. So that should hopefully, yeah, see, it just gets rid of the uh, the plainness a little bit. That's quite nice. Still, I want something on the corners of this main one. Um, maybe embellishing it a little bit with something like this. That works out quite well. Could even maybe... Oh, splash. Uh, night vision potion again. I always get rid of it. I put it on slot number one. Hey, now that's a lot better. That's quite nice. Still, still something in the corner. Plant pots. The plant pot. Okay. Well, that's not. I want the plant. I want the pot. The pot. Plant pot. One on either side. Uh, what do we want in these? Oh, saplings. That'll be nice. We'll have that one and that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's exactly what was needed in there. Good. Um, on these big wall, big, bleh, big flat parts of wall here, I think a big painting. One on either side. I think we can find two big ones of the same thing. I, I think the, um, maybe not a skeleton. <laughs> um, I think I want it back a little bit from that podium. I don't know where I need to click. Yeah, a big old KFC side. I'm going to do here. Oh, maybe a two by two could work. Maybe a little bit easier. Uh, that's a Donkey Kong one, but that is exactly the right size of what you would want. Maybe I'll just go for a Donkey Kong over here. I hope I've got the right block. Oh no, that, they're the same size, aren't they? They're the same size and they're the same height. You know what, that'll, that'll do perfect. You're not going to look closely at them anyway, are you? That'll work. Okay, now I think, because I haven't really got much else to do out the back here, it'd be cool to just continue this wood theme at the back here as well. Let's put, for the moment, one of our fake doors in. So I'm going to put out the archway. I'm going to mix up the floor here so it looks like it will continue on. And then we're going to do black, or oh, 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 probably uh, this one, just to fill it in. Just to look like it, to, to, to make it appear that it is a door, but it's just not going to go anywhere. If you want to, we can then open it up and we can add a room on there and it's all ready for us. But what would be cool would be to have something like a little walkway. Again, we'll keep it two blocks wide like uh, that one up there. Oh, is that three blocks? Oh, that's three blocks. Okay, we'll do three blocks. Three blocks wide up here. And we'll do the same sort of thing. So we want, um, well, they should have been slabs actually for this part. Because if they're slabs, you get that sort of little raise up. Okay, no problem. It's only 15 seconds, isn't it? Okay, uh, slab. Let me put these in here instead. Again, subtle detail, but all the subtle details that you do, they might not mean a lot individually, but when you put them all together, there'll be a nice uh, a nice big effect from it. So we put the fences along here, again, to match that sort of other uh, design. Might even do entire pillar. A couple of a couple of big pillars in here. Like do one right here on this side. Oops, that's not the one. Now it technically goes... I'm going to go through on this part and that's the height that then that one starts and then that goes up to there so we're going to go the same point which is that one oops which is that one and then that goes there and then that just touches the ceiling Ah, you know, I'm not a huge fan of it. I, I would like it if it was done the same way as this, where it was all embellished out and everything like that. Um, no problem. We'll, we'll do it then. So that's going to go across the front. This one's going to go away. Oops, I don't want to give it that one. 
I should have looked more closely at it. I should have planned this a little bit more. Instead of just... I knew what I wanted, though. That's the thing. So we have a little fourth, four wide bit in there. There you go, on there. And then how? We have that going underneath here. It already just looks so much better. And then we get these going there. And there. And here. I might do there as well. And... They go in like this. These are uh, a lot smaller arches on this sides here. But it's okay. And that one. Splash. And then a couple of slabs. Just in the middle here. Oh no. I think I like it bigger. Okay. Cool. We want these. On there, I don't think I could. I could. I could do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. See, that's cool. That really dresses up behind there. Then it looks sort of all in one. It uses up a lot of the room, which is nice. Yeah, I like that. Let's grab this. Let's grab the eye back. Let's grab some of them. We'll just do a couple of really small ones, I think. Little tiny bush ones, maybe um, maybe larger ones in the middle, so it sort of leads up to the door. I like that. I like that. Nothing really more needed. Well, a carpet. A carpet could be quite nice. Let's go with uh, brown matches with the wood. Brown and, and grey. It's an old carpet. It's an old cathedral. It's a little bit sort of dusty and, and, and dirty. Something like that. And then... That in like that. There you go. That's a nice rug on the back, and it's, it looks like the uh, the floor pattern as well. So it's, it's quite nice. Now we do have the issue of these open ends, and how we're going to get up there. Well, I can't get a staircase in here. I don't want to join those up with those before anybody else. I don't think that that will work. But we can, I think, cap these off quite well, like this. Actually, that doesn't look too bad there. And that, and then we get the fence to run down here. Uh, button, before I forget. I'm going to put the buttons on those ones for here. Um, so that that's actually capped that off a lot easier than I thought it was going to. But then on this side, we need to be able to get up here. I'd really like to be able to get up here. But I'm really not quite sure how. Me um, no, I can't do that. Um, I could, if necessary, remove this window and that window. They don't need to be there. And then this could even probably step... Oh, that's the button. I want the button. This could even step down, turn around the corner. I want to keep it three blocks wide. No, that's re it's really quite very difficult on how I'm going to get it down. What if I just went super simple stair, like as simple as you could go, and I just went down like this? Where would we end up? Do we end up in a bad spot? You know, not really. Not really a bad spot at all. That could come down there, that could come down there. We'd put a nice balcony edge on it. It leads nicely into the middle. Leaves us a nice sort of spot on the left and the right, on the left and the right, uh, for those nice plants and dressing up. That'll work. I haven't got time to do it this episode. That's something that we'll do next episode. But this is a really quite a big improvement. I like this. Oh, no, no, night vision again, just as I was going to take a thumbnail. Let's find a thumbnail. What should we do? About there. Oh, lighting. Let's just do light. Let's, um, uh, milk milk otherwise we're gonna have the same mistakes we had last episode let's drink the milk yeah look at that it's so dark in here so we're gonna want torch and uh, the fence is gonna go on that one and that goes there 
It's just so it's matching the light from the uh, the hallway bit. Same here to light up the back part of the door. I think we're going to do the same sort of thing here as well. We'll have that one. And that one. I think I'm going to do a little bit of hidden lighting here. Something like that. It just it looks nice and neat and it sort of light up, lights up that part. Same as up here as well. And this one. Why do I always place that second one? Uh, I would really like something on the tops of those. I think that looks neater. I can't. I don't. Can't do it on that one though, because of all the bits that we've got on on there. I can do it on these. Yeah. Um, okay. Where else is dark? It's dark. Very dark here. In fact, I could probably do that on the corners. It's not going to add that much lighting. Still very, still very, very dark. Okay, if I put glowstone underneath the end stones, will, will they light up still? Oh, they do. Because they're a transparent block. Oh, that is that is the sneakiest way ever. Uh huh. I like that. And then just behind here, I need the bits back again. We'll have one there and one there. That should be light enough for what we want. We don't need it to be bright as in here. Ceiling's very dark. Let's do one there. Let's do one on either side. And then we'll have to call the episode off here. So if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. Really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. I think we're going to do one more episode here. So we'll do three interior episodes back to back. And uh, and then we'll call it quits, I think, for the minute. We'll have then hopefully the whole of this sort of middle stretch we're gonna to have to work on that part uh next episode then do any touch-ups that we need and, and additions and maybe cleaning up this wall a little bit making some more interesting things going on uh but then if we want to at another time we can come back and we can do the other wings uh, but i think three episodes back to back is probably good that's a lot better lighting hey if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you're not already feel free to subscribe we should see you in the next episode bye